Hey, folks, I want to thank you for clicking in to our SOP Starter Kit. And what I want to do is a brief overview of the 10 documents, the stuff, if you will, inside the SOP Starter Kit you ordered. Number one, I, I, this is a Dropbox account. So I hit that little hamburger right there, hit the grid, and these documents come up. First document right here is a document of a chapter four out of the book that we wrote in 2014. And it's point number four. It's, it's what's, a, what's a how to, how to do this, how to write the SOPs. What's the, it's an educational document of what it's going to do for you. Okay. Now, if you want to watch it on YouTube instead of read it or read it while you're listening to it, there it is right there. So that's document number one. What's that going to do for you? It's going to educate you on why you're, you're wanting to do these SOPs and why you want to do a, a how-to manual. Second document in it is a how-to manual construction. This is an SOP that we have written. And what it does is it tells you how to create that how-to manual. Step-by-step -step process. Hey, it's an SOP. Here's a picture of a how-to manual from a past client. There's edu this is an educational document. Again, in this starter kit, I really believe we have to help you get educated on your big why. Why am I doing this? What's it going to take to get it done? As you can see, it takes three binders. That's the SOP in there. The next document up is the 10 key SOPs within the five processes. Okay. Key, key help to get you started. Pick 10 systems. You pick four, three, excuse me, four systems out of intake, four systems out of car repair and service, and two out of your delivery process. You write those 10 key systems first before you do anything else. Hey, let's start slow and gain momentum. Here's another document called a standard operating procedure. And this is a blank template so that you can create and write your own SOPs. That's what this document's all about. It's the why, the who, and the how. The why, who, and the how. Here's another document. Man, I love this document. It's about a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This peanut butter and jelly sandwich is about the details of an SOP. So we gathered about 20 shop owners in the room one day, many years ago, and we said, okay, here's the peanut butter, here's the jelly, let's write an SOP. It's a great way to learn how to write an SOP. Yeah, we teach you how to write SOPs. We don't write them all for you, we help you get started and it brings them about. As you can see, I'm not gonna view all the details, but, you know, if I walked into your shop and said, man, hey, Joe, I'm hungry. Can you make me a peanut butter jelly sandwich? If you had this SOP in your manual, if you will, anybody on your staff could make this peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And guess what? It would taste good because it would come out the same every time. Peanut butter jelly sandwich, sample SOP of how we get it done. Ah, here's another document called the STS. Let me tell you, if you create and write these SOPs, you stick them on the shelf, they get dusty and dirty and they get outdated. So what we're gonna take, we're gonna teach you to take these 10 documents, these 10 SOPs that you're gonna create and you're gonna rotate through these SOPs on a one week rotational basis. So you're gonna take one out of intake, you're gonna train that for 20 minutes, and you're gonna concentrate on executing and updating and training that for a week. Turn around and get the second one, do the same thing, the third one and do the same thing. It's a 10 week rotation 
So now you've got a way to keep them from getting dirty, getting dusty, and they're continually being trained and modified and operational for you. This next document is the how to charge for diagnostic fees. We know that every shop has a different plan on diagnostics. What is your plan? Do your people know how it's supposed to work? Do your people know how to communicate to the customer? Do your technicians know what's going on in the back in your diagnostic fee charges? This gets everybody on the same page. That's why you need how to charge for diagnostic fees, an SOP. Here's another document. It's called an action flow charts. Hey, this is something unique. Nobody has these flow charts, but showcase and new net results. These are flow charts that you can communicate to the customer with and you can communicate to the technician and they can communicate this back to you. Let me show you a couple of pictures of some flow charts. These are the flow charts right here. We have 52 flow charts. I'm gonna open one to give you an example. And here's a no charge dead battery overnight. These are the things your technicians would inspect and check out. This information feeds back to the front counter. And this is how the service advisor communicates to the customer what needs to be done. Action flow charts, the way to make this happen in your shop. These are pre-done. All you have to do is operate the action flow charts and put them into your business. All right. Here's an educational document in here called the Your Business System Strategy. I was an EMIF coach for eight years. I know the EMIF program inside and out. So this is an educational document. Again, get in your mind to create the big why. The eighth document, ninth document is the operations manual. How we do it here, how we do it at your shop, how the technician operates, how the service advisor talks to the customer, how the customer interacts, how are we going to follow up with the customer? What are we going to do? How are we going to do this? This is the how-to manual. Talks about it. Educates you on this document. I love to educate shop owners on what it takes to create this how-to manual. It's not easy. But it's easier not to do than it is to do. Does that make sense? So this is the systems design and documentation document. Education document, again, talks about how you orchestrate it, how you get it done. Congratulations for ordering your SOP starter kit. Now, what I'd like to do is to encourage you to call me at 270-282-1262, and let's get started together. And I want to open this kit with you and talk to you about this kit. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.